Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of electrical vehicle technology. The first topic that we will learn in this module is the history of electrical vehicles. The first steam powered vehicle was designed by Nicholas Joseph Cugnot in 1769. It could achieve speeds of 6 km per hour. These vehicles were so heavy that they were only practical on a perfectly flat surface as strong as iron. Franco's Isaac de Rivas designed the first internal combustion engine in 1807 using a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen to generate energy. In 1825, British inventor Goldsworthy Gurney built a steam car that successfully completed an 85 mile round trip journey in 10 hours time. Robert Anderson of Aberdeen, Scotland built the first electric vehicle in 1839. In 1860, John Joseph, a Frenchman, built the first successful two-stroke gas-driven engine. Historical records indicate that in 1886, an electric powered taxi cab using a battery with 28 cells and a small electric motor was introduced in England. In 1888, Imish and company built a four passenger carriage powered by a one horsepower motor and 24 cell battery for the Sultan of Ottoman Empire. In the same year, Magnus Volk in Brighton, England made a three-wheeled electric car. From 1890 to 1910, there was a significant improvement in battery technology. Jacob Lohner, a coach builder in Vienna, commissioned a design for an electric vehicle from Ferdinand Porsche. The first version of the electric car used front wheel hub motor in a conventional car as shown over here. The car could travel up to 38 miles. To extend vehicle range, a gasoline engine was added that could recharge the batteries, thus giving birth to the first hybrid the Lohner Porsche Electromobile. Porsche showed his hybrid car at the Paris Exposition of 1900. A gasoline engine was used to power a generator which in turn drove a small series of motors. The electric engine was used to give the car a little bit of extra power. This method of series hybrid engine is still in use today with further scope of performance improvement and great fuel savings. In 1915, Woods Motor Vehicle Manufacturers created the dual power hybrid vehicle. The dual power used an electric battery motor to power the engine at low speeds below 25 km per hour and used the gasoline engine to carry the vehicle from these low speeds up to its maximum speed of 55 km per hour. While Porsche had invented the series hybrid, Woods invented the parallel hybrid. The Woods dual power was the first hybrid to go into mass production in 1918. In all, some 600 models were built. However, the evolution of the internal combustion engine left electric power at a marginal technology.
Victor Wauk worked in helping create numerous hybrid designs earned him the nickname of the godfather of the hybrid in 1976 he converted a buick skylark from gasoline to hybrid when a standard combustion engine car breaks a lot of power is lost because it dissipates into the atmosphere as heat regenerative braking means that the electric motor is used for slowing the car and it essentially collects this power and uses it to help recharge the electric batteries within the car the regenerative braking system was first designed and developed in 1978 by david arthurs using standard car components he converted an opel gt to offer 75 miles to the gallon and many home conversions are done using the plans for this system that are still widely available on the internet because of increasing fuel costs and environmental pollution the necessity of hybrid cars is becoming more important day by day in 1990s automakers took a renewed interest in the hybrid seeking a solution to dwindling energy supplies and environmental concerns and created modern history of hybrid car in 1993 usa recognized the urgency for the mass production of cars powered by means other than gasoline numerous government agencies as well as chrysler ford general motors and us car combined forces in the partnership for a new generation of vehicles to create cars using alternate power sources including the development and improvement of hybrid electric vehicles the audi duo was the first european hybrid car to be put into mass production in 1997 during the 2000s toyota prius and honda insight became the first mass market hybrids to go on sale in the united states with dozens of models following in the next decade the honda insight and toyota prius were two of the first mainstream hybrid electric vehicles and both models remain a popular line in 2005 a hybrid ford escape was released at present toyota is the most prominent of all manufacturers when it comes to hybrid cars as well as the specialist hybrid range they have produced hybrid versions of many of their existing model lines including several lexus vehicles they have also stated that it is their intention to release a hybrid version of every single model they release in the coming decade as well as cars and suvs there are a select number of hybrid motorcycles pickups vans and other road going vehicles available to the consumer and the list is continually increasing since petroleum is limited and will someday run out of supply in the arbitrary year 2037 an estimated 1 billion petroleum fueled vehicles will be on the world's roads gasoline will become prohibitively expensive the world needs to have solutions for the 400 million otherwise useless cars so year 2037 gasoline runs out year means petrol will no longer be used for personal mobility a market may develop for solar powered evs of the size of a scooter or golf cart 
since hybrid technology applies to heavy vehicles hybrid buses and hybrid trains will be more significant 